we're asked to determine the relative and absolute extrema of the given piecewise defined function. We have f of x equals 22 minus x squared when x is greater than or equal to negative four and less than zero, which gives us this red piece of the graph. Notice how we have a closed point at x equals negative four, an open point at x equals zero, and then we have f of x equals five x minus eight when x is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to five, which gives us this blue line segment here on the right where both endpoints are closed. And now let's determine whether the function has any absolute extrema, meaning an absolute max or an absolute min. To determine the absolute max, we want to determine the highest point on the graph of the function. So analyzing the graph of the function, notice how the highest point would be this open point here, but because this point is open, the function value does not exist at that point. It's actually down here where the function value is negative eight. Because we cannot identify the highest point on the graph, an absolute max does not exist, and we enter D and E for absolute max. And now see if we can identify the lowest point on the graph of the function. The point zero comma negative eight, this closed point here, is the lowest point on the graph of the entire function, and therefore the y value or function value of negative eight is the absolute minimum. Negative eight is the absolute minimum because negative eight is less than or equal to all the other function values given by f of x. And now let's determine whether we have any relative extrema. f of x has a relative or local maximum of f of c at x equals c. If f of c is greater than or equal to f of x for all x in some open interval containing x equals c. So because x equals c must be in some open interval, we must be able to approach x equals c from the left and right in order for f of c to be a relative or local maximum. So for example, looking at the graph, the endpoint of five comma 17 is a high point on the graph of the function. However, we cannot approach this point from the right because it's an endpoint, and therefore this does not meet the definition for a relative maximum. The function does not have any relative maximums, and therefore we enter D and E for does not exist. So the relative maximums would be the high points where we can approach the high point from the left and the right, meaning X equals C is in some open interval. And then F of X has a relative or local minimum of F of C at X equals C. If F of C is less than or equal to F of X, again, for all X in some open interval containing X equals C. To identify any possible relative minimums, we want to identify any low points, and we do have this low point down here at zero comma negative eight. So the question is, can we approach X equals zero from the left and the right? And we can because from the left, we approach along the red parabola, and from the right, we approach along this blue line. So there is an open interval containing X equals zero where negative eight is less than or equal to the function values in the interval, and therefore negative eight is a relative minimum. So this can be a little bit tricky. Just keep in mind, in order for a point to represent a relative extrema, we must be able to approach the location from the left and the right in order to satisfy the definitions below. I hope you found this helpful.